safety agenda and the Paris Agreement, as well as all other multilateral environmental agreements. Excellencies, in conclusion, let me reaffirm that as President of ECOSOC, I am committed to contribute in strengthening multilateralism, international cooperation, and solidarity in a way that amplifies the voices of the most vulnerable countries and engaging all stakeholders to increase the ambition for sustainable development and climate action to ensure that no one is left behind. But sadly, we are meeting at a time when our global peace is facing serious threats. Beyond the already severe setbacks occasioned by the COVID-19 pandemic, we cannot afford any further destruction from focusing on achieving the 2030 Agenda and in this decade of action. We all understand that peace and development are interlinked and none can be advanced without the other. It is therefore my hope that global peace shall be maintained in order to create the necessary conditions for ECOSOC and the UN system, including UNEP, to meaningfully contribute to an SDG-led recovery from the COVID-19 and thus achieve the longer-term socio-economic progress and sustainable development envisioned in the UN Charter. I thank you so much for your kind attention. Thank you, Your Excellency Kalapile, for uh, setting such a clear roadmap. I now 